back at it again and i come today with some fantastic news as i'm sure you guys saw by the thumbnail and the title of this video um something interesting is happening and i've talked about it in several videos now but i really want to touch on it again because something that i mentioned would happen is already happening and I, i'm not too sure exactly how i feel about it but I'm going to present it to you guys and um, get your thoughts and your opinions. Uh, we're going to start off with this video from uh, the Next News Network. Shout out to them. Um, but it's a video uh, that he's reacting to of Jack Sobic and a guy by the name of Richard Barris. And I want you to listen to what Mr. Barris has to say um, in this video clip. All right. Actually, there's two video clips that I'll play for you from um, the Next News Network's uh, video. So with that being said... Let's dive in. Uh, she didn't get a bounce at all from this convention. Just so people understand, in 2016, our tracking poll, Hillary Clinton got a five-point bounce. But Joe Biden got a similar bounce. In both cases, it took about four or five days for the numbers to get baked in after the convention. So all of these people that you heard, you know, doing overnight polls, oh, there's a pop. Nonsense. That's not how this stuff works. And over, it took almost two weeks for the entire process to play out for Hillary Clinton. It took 11 days for it to play out uh, for Joe Biden. So now we're kind of just entering that period of where we should expect to see Harris's bump start to fall. Instead, there was no bump at No bump at all. No post DNC bump for Kamala Harris. And you know, I think that was in part due to how they tried to set it up right? Uh, the whole DNC was about Donald Trump bad, Donald Trump bad, and not, hey, this is what we're committed to do in order to improve all of your lives, right? We, we, we saw the, the, the compilation videos. I don't think I posted one, um, but there were compilation videos of the number of times that they mentioned Trump. They mentioned Trump more than they mentioned any type of policy, any policy, whatsoever so i think that had a negative effect um that they didn't expect i think they were hoping that the trump derangement would kind of carry them over the finish line a little bit um but it's proving that it isn't also i think rfk jr's endorsement uh right after the dnc also kind of stifled uh any kind of bump but let's continue in this clip listen today kamala I, I got to tell you, Jack, past this prologue, which it typically is in this sort of thing, I see all the red flags in the northern Midwest that we saw in 16 and 20. I think if the election was held next Tuesday, Kamala Harris would grossly underperform and Donald Trump would win this election. Boom. Right there. And by wow. that, that, I was knew you were I, it, it's, that was I tight. Wait, wait. You, 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 I didn't need the mute button that time. I didn't need the mute button at all. No, so Rich, that was this TV. is huge. And this, by the way, what you're saying, though, is the same thing that the the super PAC, the Kamala Harris super PAC was saying privately. They say, hey, our internals are much tighter than the stuff that's going out publicly. Also, right. the, the things that you guys are putting out with having her up big time, it's, it's creating a problem for us on the ground because we need volunteers to go knock on doors. And suddenly they're like, how do I get this? How do I, you know, how how do I get people up? But they're saying that we've got all this momentum. We've got all this swing. Rich, what should people be looking for in the next couple of the next couple of days and weeks? I think it's going to be a very tumultuous couple of, you know, a very, very um, erratic. You know, uh, I'm talking about the media landscape and the mm. landscape of this election. I think it's going to be crazy. I, I think we have not seen the end of these big bombshells. Uh, you know, these stories, there was another indictment the other day that will move the near needle. Are you ready? Exactly. Zero points. Nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. Exactly. And I, I agree with uh, Gary Franchi there. Uh, shout out to Gary Franchi and uh, the Next News Network. That's where that video clip came from. Um, you know, and I'm showing you guys this because like we're, we're seeing a lot of interesting things happen. And I said this in, a, in, in previous videos where I said that expect Kamala to rise in the polls and possibly even overtake Trump. Now we saw that earlier, right? Which I don't consider those polls real. Um, and I have my reasons as to why I'm, I'm not just one of these folks who say, Oh, those are fake polls. And I, I don't back it up with anything. I've always backed it up with evidence 
in those past videos where I've said that. Um, and I'm going to do it a little bit again today. Just a little bit. Just going to touch on it just a touch. Um, because it's just, I just didn't expect it to happen this early because I was like, expect her to possibly take over Trump. But as, as we get closer to the election, they're not going to be able to hide it. They're not going to be able to hide it. And you'll start to see a shift and things will change. And before we get into that part, I want to show you guys this little quick uh, street interview and check out some of the responses. Now, this street interview happened in Brooklyn, okay? Which is obviously, that's a blue area. Check it out. We're at the Santa Rosalia Feast in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, and we're asking people the tough questions. Trump or Kamala? Never cover, never Kamala. Trump. Trump. He says what he does. There's no wrong answer. Trump or Kamala? Neither. Wrong. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. Obviously. I mean, come on, man. Let's go. Trump or Kamala? God is my president. Kamala. Kamala. Why? I don't know. So expensive. You used to get a bucket for five dollars. Now it's thirty balls for ten. What the fuck is this inflation? Trump or Kamala? Oh, answer. Trump or Kamala? Oh, definitely Trump. Trump or Kamala? It's Trump. Democrats have done nothing for this country, and to be honest, I want to feel safe. I want our borders secured. I want to be able to afford life. I mean, it's that easy, right? Yeah. Well, so far, it seems to be almost unanimous, and whoever's voting for Kamala can't give us a reason. We're looking for one. When what we need is people who understand that there's a foundation of this country that needs to be respected. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Ah! Trump or Kamala? Trump. Uh, yeah, baby, yeah! No, we're all voting for Chan the Man. Thank you so much. But we want to know who Chan the Man is voting for. So MAGA, right? That stands for yeah. Make America Great, right? <laughs> Make America Great. We don't want America to suck. Well, there you have it. Benson Earth, Brooklyn looks like it's leaning towards Trump. Real polls by real people. You see what I'm saying? When, when you have all of this evidence that is surrounding us, of a trump win but you have these polls saying something completely different what am i supposed to believe right when you have people walking down the street just asking folks just random folks in a blue area that's a blue this brooklyn hey trump or kamala trump trump or kamala trump trump or kamala trump trump or kamala ah, kamala why i don't know trump or kamala trump like like everybody is Trump, but I'm supposed to believe these polls are correct. What I think happened, and you guys can let me know in the comment section, is a lot of Trump supporters don't respond to polls. And so you guys let me know in the comment. That's that's my sneaky suspicion as to why as part of the reason why you saw some of the bad polls that we had recently been seeing, because um, I've never been polled personally. And even if somebody did ask to poll me, I probably wouldn't respond anyway. Um, so you guys let me know in the comment section. Have you responded to any polls recently? Have you been polled? Let me know in the comment section. But I have a sneaky suspicion that most Trump supporters aren't getting polled. And if they are polled, they aren't responding. I know I wouldn't respond to a poll. I mean, it's just me personally. But, you know, but also on top of that, here's some more evidence uh, Kamala Harris recently did a campaign rally and, um, the local news actually exposed her kind of bad. I don't think they did it on purpose. Like, I don't think they realized what they were doing, but check out this clip. Since 1992, since a presidential candidate came to Savannah, which was Bill Clinton in the hostess city. Now at the end market arena itself, lines stretched around the venue, as I was just telling you, and people started getting here as early as early this morning for the vice president. But for those a little further away from the hostess city, shuttles to the rally contained a lot of excitement. I was in Atlanta and I heard that the vice president was going to be in Savannah. So I decided to just kind of be lying over here and check it out. It is crazy. Since yeah, they were busing people in. Interesting. Busing people from different areas, people that didn't drive, didn't go there on their own. They were given shuttles to go to the rally. If you have support as much as what mainstream media has tried to make it seem, you wouldn't have to shuttle anybody. You'd have supporters right there where you're doing the rally. You wouldn't have to shuttle anybody in. I don't care whether they're a Kamala supporter or not. You wouldn't have to shuttle people 
in to support you. Right? See, see what I'm getting at? See? Yeah. Even on an MSNBC panel. Check out what this woman had to say. Do you feel some kinship towards her as a mixed person? Not personally. I find a lot of her trajectory to not be my brand of woman leader. We've got three major international crises going on and someone applying to be commander in chief. As a woman, I want to see you do more than, you know, appeal to giggling and having a girl moment on the stage. Yeah, that's an MSNBC panel that MSNBC put on television. Not only that, it gets crazier, guys. Look what I saw yesterday on X. You see what that says? Yeah. Now, this is from yesterday, August 29th. Because I, I, I uh, saw it yesterday after I had got done recording and just left the tab open. So that's why that's still there. But yeah, absolutely insane. Breaking a whopping 20% of likely black voters say they would vote for Trump, according to the poster Quinnipiac. Now, why are things flipping all of a sudden like this? I have, a, I have a few ideas as to why this is happening. One is because maybe they feel like they have to start shifting things closer to the truth because it's going to look really bad when the truth hits them right in the face, hits everybody right in the face, and now all these posters look really, really silly uh, when Trump wins big and all these posters were like, uh, no, he's going to lose big. Two, it, that's a possibility is they want to generate some more support uh, behind Kamala. Maybe they had overstated, right, too many times that Kamala was winning. Kamala was winning. And so you heard uh, uh, the guy with Jack Sobic, I think Jack Sobic actually said it, um, possibly they're having trouble getting people to go out and do things because They've inflated her support and said that she's got all the support. So why do people need to go out and do anything for, her, right? That's a possibility as well. Another thing, and I, maybe they're just playing another game, right? Because that was my idea from the jump uh, as to why these polls were saying Kamala was winning all of a sudden. The most unpopular vice president of all time is all of a sudden just up in the polls. She's up by seven. She's up by six. She's up by eight. You know, and somebody, oh, she's she's winning in all the swing states. You know, like just the, the, the craziness. And I, I've shown you guys uh, some of those things in past videos as well. Uh, when you, you we all knew that wasn't true. And I provided evidence in those videos as to why I believed that that wasn't true. So maybe this is another mind game. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section because I did not expect the polls to start shifting this early. Not yet. Not yet. I, I expected another week or two of, oh, Kamala, oh, Kamala, before like reality started to kick in for these posters and they were like, okay, well, we're going to have to actually tell these folks the truth because we're all going to look bad and possibly lose our jobs if we're giving Kamala like five points ahead when really she's like four points down. This is going to be a blowout in Trump's favor. Like we're going to look foolish. I didn't expect that for like another couple more weeks, but it's already happening. Or maybe stuff like this. Check it out. Julie, one interesting note here at this rally, like we've seen at a lot of Trump rallies, they are registering voters, and that's a big deal here in Pennsylvania. Republicans since 2016 have gained 275,000 registered voters in Pennsylvania. Democrats have lost that same amount of voters in the last eight years. So they're hoping that'll make all the difference come November 5th. Julie? Republicans have gained 275,000 new registered voters in Pennsylvania and Democrats have lost the same amount. Now I'm sure he's rounding up and rounding down, you know, that's why he said the same amount, but that kind of flip in Pennsylvania, maybe it's stuff like that. That's happening. 
Shout out to Scott Pressler. Big, big shout out to Scott Pressler. You can be annoyed all you want to, but I'm going to keep giving Scott Pressler a big, big shout out every chance that I get. Because Scott Pressler is one of the gentlemen that is out here in the streets in Pennsylvania, which is where that was, registering people to vote. So once again, I, I want to give Scott Pressler a big shout out. Here is his ex account. Go and uh, give him a follow. Scott Pressler right here. Big shout out to him. Uh, here is his organization as well. Of course, you can just pause this if you need to, if I'm moving too fast. But yeah, go and check it out. Please do get involved. Contact Scott Pressler. He'll help you out in any way, shape or fashion you need. Um, the guy's amazing. I mean, the guy's absolutely amazing. He deserves a lot of credit for what he is doing. Literally out in the streets getting things done. Lit, I mean, seriously getting it done. Not talking about it. <laughs> like, he's about action, boss. And I, I absolutely love it. And um, he deserves a lot of credit. He deserves a whole lot of credit for that 275000 He deserves a lot of credit for that. So, big shout out to him. But, um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts, your opinions on what is happening. Is it the fact that they can't hide it anymore? Is that what it is? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I, but I, I I didn't expect the things to shift this early, this fast. Like there's a whole a whole feed headline by that. Trump leads Harris in tight race. Now, when Trump was just behind by seven points in some polls, miraculously how that uh, it's just miraculous how that happened, right? He went from like down five to all of a sudden leading. And I and I, I only think it's going to get worse, obviously, after that CNN um, fireside chat, because it wasn't an interview. I don't know what you'd call that soft. Like, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, I think it's only going to get worse. And I saw some polls that would indicate that. Um, but it's, it's just interesting. Like, you, you, you lie one second. Kamala's up by five and then like she's down by four in this swing state or two in that swing state and three in this swing state. And it's just like, oh, crap, um, Trump is actually up in Michigan. He's actually winning Wisconsin. And it's just like, hold on, wait, like what is happening? You know, like do y'all feel just a touch confused too? You know, like I'm just like I'm trying to figure out like what are they what are they doing? You know, like l let me know how y'all feeling. Please do. Please do. As always, y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.